Question one, X stands for an odd number, Y stands for an even number. It says, look at the expressions below. For each expression, tick to show if it is odd or even. The first one is done for you. So we've got several expressions, X plus Y, X plus two Y, two lots of X plus Y, X times by Y and X squared plus Y. And we've got to show whether each of these expressions are odd or even. Now what we could do is try and work this out without sticking any numbers in, but the easiest thing to do is actually to pick a number for x and to pick a number for y. x could be any odd number, but let's choose the easiest odd number of all. Well, the easiest odd number of all is to make x worth 1. y could be any even number, but the easiest even number of all would be to use y equals 2. So let's use those values and see where we get to. Well, if we look at the first expression that's already been done for us, using these numbers, we'd have, instead of x plus y, x would be 1 and y would be 2. 1 plus 2 would actually give us 3, which is y odd as being ticked. Now we're just going to do a similar sort of thing for the other expressions. Well, x is worth 1 and y is worth 2. So remember, 2y is 2 lots of 2, which is 4. So we've now got 1 plus 4 equals 5. So that is odd again. This expression, we've got to do the brackets first. So it's x plus y inside the bracket. So 1 plus 2 inside the bracket, that comes to 3. So we might as well cross out the bracket and replace this with a 3. But remember, we've got two lots of whatever's inside the bracket. So if the bracket comes to 3, we're dealing with two lots of 3, which equals 6. And that is even. The fourth expression, we've got x, y. Remember, there's an invisible time sign in there, so this means x times by y. And x is 1 and y is 2, so it means 1 times by 2. 1 times by 2 is 2, and this is even. On the final expression, we've got x squared plus y. Well, x squared, if x is 1, we're saying 1 squared added to y, which is 2. So 1 squared is 1, plus 2 is 3, and 3 is odd. So the final box we've got to tick will be odd. Now you may be thinking, well, that only works for when x is 1 and y is 2. Well, let's see what happens if we've picked some different numbers. Remember, we still have got to get x being odd. And we've still got to have y being even. So this time, let's try some random numbers. So let's pretend that x is... 3, which is still odd, and let's say this time that y equals 8, which is still even. Let's see what happens if we work the same thing through with those numbers. Well, x plus y would be 3 plus 8, which is 11, and 11 is still odd, so that one works again. x plus 2y would be 3 plus 2 lots of 8. Well, 2 lots of 8 is 16, and when you add 3 onto that, you get 19, and 19 is still odd. So the second statement works. The third statement is 2 lots of x plus y, which means we're talking about 2 lots of 3 plus 8. Well, always do the bracket first, so 3 plus 8 is 11, and 2 lots of 11 is 22 which is even. So we would still be ticking even. The fourth statement, we've got x times by y. Remember the invisible time sign. So we've got 3 times by 8, which is 24. Again, this is still even. And the final statement, we've got x squared plus y. So this is 3 squared plus 8. Well, 3 squared is 9, and 9 plus 8 is 17, which is still odd. So there you have it. There's the boxes that you need to tick. The first two are odd, the next two are even, and the final one's odd.
the easiest way of doing it is to pick x for an odd number and pick an even number for y just like it says back in the question and work it out and see what you get do you get an odd answer or an even answer